Today, we're gonna to go over pros and cons of why you may or may not wanna live in South Lake, Texas. Hi, I'm Tiffany. I'm a local realtor here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If this is your first time by our channel, then welcome. This is where we drop everything you need to know about life in Dallas-Fort Worth. For over a decade, we've been helping people just like you move here. We were just rated the number one brokerage in all of Dallas-Fort Worth, so I know that we can help you move here as well. So whether you need to move in nine days or nine months, reach out. All of our information is below. You can text us, call us, Zoom or email. We are always available because I feel like we work all the time, but we would love to get your questions answered. You can actually comment below on this video too, and we will make sure that we get you an answer to whatever question you have. Like us, subscribe. We would love to have you follow us. With that being said, let's get to the pros and cons of life in South Lake, Texas. I would not be doing you guys justice if I didn't tell you the good and the bad. I think that when you move to a new place, you need to know all the things before you make a decision. So I'm going to go over pros and cons. If you're interested in South Lake, I would highly encourage you to at least visit there if you can and let me know because I would love to join you and show you around. It really is a beautiful, beautiful city. Uh, it actually started booming in the 80s. The Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport was built in the 70s and then it really started booming and gaining a lot of ground because of its location close to the airport. And of course, I do these videos so that I can help give you a glimpse of what these cities look like and it's hard to do South Lake justice in the beauty that is there because it is so luxury and that's what you feel when you're there. So definitely visit if you're in town. Okay, a couple of stats about South Lake, just so that you know. First of all, it was voted number one best place to buy a house in Dallas Fort Worth, and it was ranked number three in the best place to buy a house in all of the state of Texas. So that's amazing. And then number five out of 1,053 subdivisions, it was ranked the best place to raise a family out of all of Texas. So you've got 1,053 subdivisions and it ranked five, which is, is pretty awesome. Just if you're wondering, the population is around 31,000 and uh, it, I don't think it's gonna grow much bigger than that because it's landlocked. So I do think it will grow, but not a ton. So let's start with these pros and cons. Pros is its location, the proximity of where it is in the Metroplex. It is 25 miles from downtown Dallas. It's actually 25 miles from downtown Fort Worth. So you can get anywhere quick. So if you work in either one of them, South Lake is a great place to live. It is 15 minutes to the airport, if that. If you're in South South Lake, it's much closer, but it is so easy to get to the International Airport and go anywhere you want to. It's also close to Grapevine Lake. In fact, a part of South Lake borders the lake. And depending on where you live in South Lake, it's it can be literally minutes for you to drive there. Obviously, one of the biggest pros of South Lake is its school system. It's kind of crazy. Everybody is, bleeds green in South Lake. So that South Lake Carroll are the dragons and it's just a stellar school system. I've said this on all of my videos when it comes to South Lake. They really do it right when it comes to education and they go crazy with athletics. So first of all, it's an A plus rated school. Um, right now in 2023, Carroll is actually currently ranked the number one out of all school districts in the Dallas Fort Worth area. So that tells you a little bit. There are six elementary schools in South Lake. And just to tell you a little bit, there are 4,581 elementary schools in the whole state of Texas however you draw Texas. And the six elementaries in South Lake, all of them rank in the top 30 and there are several of them in the top 10. So it does set a precedence on education in South Lake. Another pro, which could be a con, but we're gonna go over the pro side of it first, is sports in South Lake. You can literally get any type of private coaching that you want and take your child to the next level when it comes to their performance in sports. At the high school level, it gets pretty insane. In fact, they split their high school up to Carroll High School and Carroll Senior High. The high school's ninth and 10th, and the senior high is 11th and 12th. And I personally believe it's so that they can have all the 11th and 12th graders at one school 
so they can cherry pick who they want on their teams. So that tells you how competitive it is, which that again, that's when we're going to go over a little over to the con side, but pro for right now, they do have an impressive football history. I think that they've been to the championship seven or eight times. It's legit. And there's a lot of recruiting that goes on for the football team. So just know that if you are moving to South Lake and you've got kiddos who play sports, they need to be mentally prepared. And I know that sounds crazy to say, but they can truly get the best coaching around. It's just super competitive. So they need to have the right mindset, especially if you're bringing in older kids and they don't have a ton of experience in sports and they want to get into the sporting events or the teams in Soft Lake, they may not make the team. So just prepare if they're, and I don't wanna say any kids mediocre, but there are kids that are mediocre and they may have a harder time. So just mentally prepare them. It is a 6A high school and a lot of the kids go to division one schools and in college to play division one ball. Um, Texas is, they don't play when it comes to football. So just know that. But people will move specifically to South Lake for baseball, cheer, dance, football, drill team, all of it. It's all competitive. And it's because of the coaching. It's because of how well the schools are funded with the taxes that the people pay that live in South Lake. I mean, if it tells you anything three years ago, the um, Emerald Bells, which is the drill team, they actually got to the quarterfinals of America's Got Talent. Look it up. It's insane, but it, it tells you how competitive they are and how good they are. So be prepared. And that could be a con because you don't want your kids to fail, but taking them into a South Lake area, it is super competitive. And a lot of kids will thrive in that and a lot of kids will get lost in it. So very much prepare your type of child for that. One of the cons is South Lake's uber expensive. It's just pricey. The average home value in South Lake is 723,000 and that's quite a bit higher than the rest of the Dallas Fort Worth area. I think that the average home selling right now in South Lake is probably 1.1 to 1.2 million. So it's just a lot. And the average median income is about 240 to 250,000. Now, one of the pros is South Lake Town Center and all the shopping and all the eating you can do at the town center. It's kind of the epicenter. It's where everybody comes to shop and eat. It's got the um, courthouse there. It's got the post office there. And it's on South Lake Boulevard. South Lake Boulevard is the main road that runs all the way through South Lake. And so really anything that you want to do can be found on South Lake Boulevard. So the, the shopping, the dining, at South Lake Town Center is a lot of fun. They have green space, they have picnic tables, they do festivals, art shows, they have Oktoberfest, which is so much fun. If you come in October, go to Oktoberfest. You'll definitely find all types of high-end shopping. You've got REI, West Elm, Apple, Lululemon, Anthropology, Trader Joe's. There is a central market. It's just a lot of fun. There's so many restaurants. I feel like I grew up around South Lake and I feel like I could probably eat there multiple times a week and not even make a dent in all the restaurants that are there. So that type of nightlife you're going to have, you're, you're going to have so many choices. If you're like, if you like to go out and eat and then maybe go to a movie or go to, you know, a play or a festival, South Lake will definitely have what you want. Another pro that could be a con, depending on your opinion and your desire is when the houses were built. There are a lot of 80s, 90s, and early 2000 homes because that's when South Lake really boomed. There is new construction. It's just harder to find. And some of the older neighborhoods, they are renovating those houses or even tearing them down and building new spectacular houses. What you need to remember about South Lake is that there are a lot of estates. So if you're wanting multiple acres with this big, beautiful home with a pool and all the things, then you're going to want an estate. You're going to pay two, three, four, or five million all the way up. And I can help you find those. I think the most expensive house right now on the market in South Lake is about 18 million, and it is unbelievable. In fact, look for my video on the most expensive neighborhoods because at the end of it, I'm going to show you that house. It's amazing. So, again, depending on if you like older neighborhoods or you don't like older neighborhoods, it's a pro or a con. And 
I was driving over there the other day and I saw so many new homes being built. So there definitely is new construction. It's just not as, you know, prominent as the others that have been built for many, many years. Another pro is how beautiful and green South Lake is. They take very much pride in aesthetics and the way things look. So people with their yards and like South Lake Town Center, all the different shopping areas, it's green and lush and beautiful trees and beautiful lawns and everything's manicured. It's a very pleasing for the eyes. You can drive down streets and just be in awe of, of how they keep their lawns it's really pretty cool and then the last con i would say is nightlife can be a con if you like like the bar club scene so there's definitely plenty of to do in south lake at night for date nights and all that there's parks there's movies festivals shopping dining so many different things if you're a concert goer or bars and clubs then you're going to need to go to dallas and it's a short short drive but everything you'll ever want nightlife wise is definitely in Dallas. And so South Lake, you're going to feel like you're in a little bit of a bubble and you're going to feel like it's a safe bubble. You're going to not, you know, be so worried if your kids go to South Lake Town Center to eat and get some ice cream. It's just a lovely feel. It's definitely um, kind of that pleasant veal feel. It's really nice. So anyway, I hope that helps you understand some of the pros and cons of South Lake. It is a beautiful city. I love, love, love South Lake. I love South Lake. I can't even say it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like, hit the subscription, um, subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you around. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until the next one, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.